Mexico City was built on top of an ancient Aztec metropolis. It once floated on a lake. The Spanish destroyed the Aztecs' delicate water management system, then spent 400 years trying to drain the lake entirely. But now, Mexicans are paying the price. Parts of the city are now sinking nearly 20 inches every year because the drained lake bed beneath it is collapsing. The more water they pump from underground, the faster the city sinks. It's like sitting on a soggy sponge and watching it flatten as it dries out. That clay lake bed needs water to retain its structure. Without it, the ground just keeps compressing. When you extract millions of gallons daily for the 22 million thirsty residents, you're literally pulling the support out from under the city. This isn't just about wet feet. It's warping metro lines and snapping water mains across the metropolis. And the craziest part? The same city, desperate for drinking water, still floods when it rains hard. The Aztecs had figured this out centuries ago with their island city of Tenochtitlan. They built ingenious floating gardens and causeways that doubled as dikes, keeping fresh and brackish water perfectly separated. Rather than fighting the lake, they designed their entire civilization to work with it. When Spanish colonizers arrived, they saw the water as an enemy to be conquered. They demolished the dams, then spent the next 400 years trying to drain the lake completely. Their grand engineering projects didn't really solve anything. Massive floods still turned the capital into a muddy Venice multiple times. Water simultaneously tries to drown or dry out the metropolis. The colonial dismantling of this indigenous knowledge created the problem to begin with. It's a stark reminder that environmental decisions can create human consequences that can span generations.